it is a zine, uh, but short for magazine. Zine is short for magazine, and zine is a small publication that is financed and written all by one or a small group of people out of their own pockets and in their own homes, and then distributed across the neighborhood. So that's where it comes from. Of course, it's changed from that to being adapted into a class. It's a lot different. The idea wasn't mine, so it belongs to a woman I taught with briefly back in Seattle, Kimberly Allison. She taught a regular English class and she just did this little project called the Zines Project. Paper zines. And they wrote each other poetry and short essays and they copied them all in there and then they just had one copy. And she was like, hey, you know, why don't we, why don't you do this Zines Project? and we could kind of take it into the 21st century a little bit. Like the, you could actually have the kids typing instead of cutting. My mind just started spinning and I love the idea of sort of a, a, a game-like structure to a class where the whole thing is competitive. That sounded really exciting to me. When students create zines, they're given a lot of freedom. We brainstorm topics that we think that the rest of the student body would be into. But outside of that, it's actually really wide open. And that's actually, I think, another challenge with this class is it's so wide open at times. I think sometimes people struggle with the amount of freedom that they have. Well, you can write about any topic you want as long as it's in the structure. And people, I think, used, are used to in education getting a set list of options. Like you have to do this or this and then it's easy. So it's, you have to spend less time thinking. And then it starts with what are we interested in individually in and do we think we can find a common interest that we can all get really excited about and then turn it into a magazine that other people get excited about. Making my own zine was uh, an interesting experience mainly because it was more collaborative than I expected and there were a lot more uh, it was a lot more involved with talking to people and teamwork and so that really that really helped me I think grow in those skill areas and it was really sort of an adventure because I didn't know what was next none of my teammates knew what was next and uh, so it was a pretty interesting experience. The ideal zinester is a go-getter um, somebody who can be passionate and invest him or herself and not too cool for school. I didn't mention anything about being a good writer, bad writer, good reader, bad reader, good at technology, bad at technology, because those things, that's not really what makes up the ideal student. And I think one more thing I'd have to add in there is just grit. Like when it gets tough sometimes, pushing through it and making the most out of it, because more than anything else, all those skills I just listed, I think are gonna lead to students being successful. The purpose, is to put people in positions where they have to make decisions that impact their themselves and their zines. I want to put people in the middle of the tug of rope and I want every student to feel tugged back and forth between two things. So really it's it's putting students in a position of trying to balance it all perfectly. How do we spend just enough money for great writing, just enough money for photos, and other things so that we create this great product at the end. So and I think that's real world too because you're going to operate, whatever you do, you're going to have to operate under a budget someday, whether it's as a, as a husband, family, um, or as a business. I definitely think that my experiences in zines will help me in my in future life, in my career in college. I've learned a lot about teamwork and a lot about working with people in zines. I've also learned a lot more about myself I've learned how I, myself as a writer, like to work. I've learned about how I want to express myself and how it's best for me to get things done. And I feel like that's going to be very valuable in the future because in the future, when we're working in a company, the boss doesn't hand us a piece of paper that says, talk about what you just read in ABCD format. Like that doesn't happen. The boss might go and say, hey, what did you learn from that meeting? And you've just got to tell them and you've got to figure out a way. And I feel like you aren't really prepared for that in, the, in a normal English class. Not that a normal English class is somehow worse than zines or not as good, but I feel uh, zines prepares you for a different set of experiences in life. And I feel like it does that very well. 
Well, for one thing, zines is less teacher-led than other uh, common core English classes um, because it's mainly you and your team doing things. It's less teacher-directed as we go on, I would say. I mean, the, every day I, I am doing something as a teacher, directing, instructing, clarifying, going over some things. Um, but the further the class goes on, the less I am really needed, which is a little, which is uncomfortable sometimes as a teacher because I feel like uh, in a traditional class, yeah, I'm sort of, sometimes I'm the sage on the stage or I'm the leader of the discussion. But here it takes a lot of trust for a teacher to just turn things over to students and know that students will make mistakes and they will make wrong choices and there are students who will make right choices and feel more ownership in the process and the product because they were given that chance. So I just have to sort of celebrate the good and then try to make life lessons and teaching moments out of the bad things. So one, one fallacy is that, well, you, you take zines maybe because you want to go into journalism or something like that, or, or you take zines because you just don't want to read. <laughs> and I mean, maybe that's what drives you to this class. Maybe you want to be into journalism. And there, I always have a few students who are always gunning for journalism, and this is the perfect kind of class for that. And I also get students who take it because they'd rather write as opposed to read, and that's okay too. But I think to be successful, you have to be passionate. I, I think that's really, and you have to be willing to walk blindfolded a little bit because it's, it's different. It's so unusual, and I think I can describe what it means in the course syllabus, and I can come into your class and talk about it, but it's not really going to hit home until you get into it about how different this class is and maybe just how different I teach it too. In zines, we still get a good English experience. It might not be the same English experience, but I still think it's definitely a quality experience. In zines, we still have to write, we still have to proofread, we still have to edit things, but it's not necessarily following the same format and it's not necessarily following the same timeline as a normal English class. It's definitely an English experience and it's a valuable English experience, but not necessarily the same kind of or a similar experience. It's, it's interesting for me because I teach a class like this, but I also teach AP US History, which in a lot of ways is the exact opposite. It's standard, it's tests, it's high amounts of reading, it's tests, it's high amounts of reading, and it's just fast paced and everything is very defined. Um, there's, there's very little creative freedom in terms of being successful. If as long as you're willing to work hard, which is still a really big value of that class, if you have grit and you're willing to work hard and you can engage in, in some collaboration, but not the kind that Zines has, you will be successful. But sometimes it's, it's hard to think, you know, will this concept of a class, will it ever really grow? I don't know because there's so much pressure on teaching X, Y, and Z and testing students and proving that you can do this and that. So while I think there's a place for AP US history and there's a place for zines, I, sometimes I just worry that, I don't know, the space allotted for a class like zines is just is shrinking. I don't have any conflict myself. I love. I love the zines experience, and I, I love the APUS history experience, and I love English 11 experience. I, I, I love learning, and I love different styles of learning, and so for me, it's actually, it's a good thing. It, it lets me shift gears, but I just, I still worry about it as a class in the system of education. But I think it has a lot of merit, I think it has a lot of value, and uh, I really hope it continues.